So this section of the AS, which you would have done at the end of AS, is the bit that's tested the most, if you like, when you get to your um, when you get to these exams. So we've got a graph P equals A B to the T, and we've been told a straight line's been drawn of log 10 P against T. So we've got to log 10 both sides. And when we do that, on the right hand side, we use the log rules and we separate this out. But we know also that that t can come down. So as part of your log rules. And then we're going to compare it to y equals mx plus c. In this question, we've got log 10p, which matches up to your y, if you like. You've got t, which is your x, and connected to it is log 10b. So your gradient, which is your m, must equal log 10b. So that's 0 0.09. And then, by the same way, your plus c is going to be your intercept, is going to be the same as your log 10a. So that's 0 0.68. And then to open this out, we just do 10 to the power of 0 0.09 equals 10 to the power of that equals. So we get b equals 1.23 and a equals 4.79 to two decimal places. Okay, so the next bit asked in context of the model. Now the model is about a population who have access to the internet. So the constant happens when t is zero, because b to the zero equals one. So when t is zero, the population equals that a. So what does that mean? It means the population, so the con is going to be with access to the internet. And it's going to be initially, but what is the initial here? The initial here is the start of 2005. Access to the internet at the start of 2005. And then part C says use the model to estimate the percentage of the population who had the, at the start of 2015. So that's in 10 years time. So we said A was 4.79 times B to the T. So it'd be 1.23 to the power of 10. And we're estimating, so the population, so it's the percentage, sorry, percentage of population. That's what the question's about. And it equals, and I get 38. So that's how you would do that question. Okay, so this bit here isn't really part of the questions. It's more because the sample information said the graph of y equals a to the x which is any value to the power of x, which is going to give you this exponential graph. I just thought I'd do a few bits on drawing those graphs and changing them. However, I think because a lot of people have the graphical calculators, it's less likely that you'll have to sketch them with actual numbers in. It might be like sketch the graph of y equals, you know, x plus k, where k is positive. So you could have y equals 2 to the power of x plus k. And they tell you k is bigger than 0. So you'd say, okay, if x is 0, then y is 2 to the k. Because that's where it goes through. And I'm just literally shifting the x's. So I won't really be able to tell from my diagram how, sorry, how this is different. But it's going to have shifted a little bit. So let's make sure that lines up. Um, and so you don't need to worry too much, but just in case, just have a look and make sure you've revised these graphs. 